Hey there, this is Derek Murphy. I want to take a minute to make a video talking about Black Friday deals. I personally really haven't put a lot of effort into doing a Black Friday promotion for any of my writing or marketing courses, um, but my friend Dave from Kindlepreneur put up this huge list of Black Friday deals. So if you're interested in thinking about this weekend, how are you going to level up your author game? Um, are you going to set any publishing or writing related goals? And if so, this might be an opportunity to pick up some tools or resources or courses that will help you to level up in 22, 2022. Um, so real quickly, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you'll probably already recognize. Publisher Rocket, um, Pro Writing Aid, Plotter. These are three kind of big ones. Um, Pro Writing Aid is great to help you self-edit your own work, not only for typos, but also a little bit more with style. I've actually, I prefer Grammarly when I'm editing. Grammarly finds more typos, but Pro Writing Aid is a little bit more geared to style, identifying your weaker writing habits that you might want to take a closer look at. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. Publisher Rocket is just for searching for keywords and categories. It makes a really big difference in publishing, saves a lot of time, um, so it's worth picking up. And Plotter is something a little bit new that's like a timeline um, for plotting out your story. And I actually just made a video for my YouTube channel because they are adding my 25 chapter plotting outline into the Plotter software so that you can just get it all set up um, and work with it right away. I think that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, check out this list. A lot of these are pretty big deals, like 50% off or more. This is kind of like the time of year. Um, even MIBL Art, which does pretty good cover design, so they have a 25% off on um, book cover design, and they're already pretty cheap for the quality that they provide for book cover design. That's because they're in Eastern Europe and they have a big team, so they're um, focusing on heavy growth and their prices are cheaper than they should be, I think. On um, creativity.com, if you're looking for cover design, I do have um, an article, maybe I'll show you later, that goes through my favorite cover designers. A lot of my cover design friends on Facebook are doing a Black Friday deal where they're basically getting rid of all of their um, stock. So there might be a lot of really good pre-mades that didn't sell that you could now pick up at a discount. Pre-mades are a really good way to pick up a nice looking cover without spending for, you know, a custom design. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Down here you have courses and courses are more I sent out an email a couple of days ago, and the main thing is um, writing is a learnable skill. That people always freak out with NaNoWriMo because it's so hard, especially if you're writing your book for the first time, and they're not really sure, you know, whether or not they're cut out for it. Because publishing and writing is very difficult. Not only is it a difficult skill to master, and it takes a lot of practice, um, it's also difficult because once you publish, it may not get the response that you think your book deserves and that can be kind of intimidating um, almost always it's a problem with your cover or your blurb those are two things you can learn how to fix or more realistically you can hire somebody to fix those things for you and then it's about visibility and conversion and book reviews which is a whole bunch of other stuff which takes a lot of time to build up an author platform and just understand you know all of the things that you need to do you know setting up an author website um, connected to an email list there's a whole bunch of steps that can seem intimidating. However, once you've set up your other platform and you have enough content, then you can really focus on scaling in a big way. It typically takes several years, um, not to mention the several years of practice before you can write good enough books to go commercial. I think there's a kind of cruel wake-up period where most beginner authors are really excited um, and they spend tons of money because they're confident their books are going to be successful. And then after they've spent a bunch of money, those books were not successful. Now they have to reevaluate and figure out, you know, is this actually for them? And if so, are they willing to invest in their own education? Because this, all, this stuff is all definitely possible, but you're either going to have to pay someone a lot of money, which may not fix your problems, or you're going to have to spend time learning how to do better, which most authors are just not interested in. They just want to write the books. They're not interested in learning. Um, but you can learn very quickly if you make that your goal. And so this is a chance to pick up a whole bunch of pretty good um, 
you know, a lot of people I recognize, some pretty good offers from people who have been in the publishing industry for a while. They have a lot of value to offer um, on a wide range of subjects. I mean, this is a great list. So there's a lot of stuff in here um, for things to pick up. I also have myself down here, Derek Murphy, um, and they've featured my, they didn't actually specify, but publishing and book, book design. This is basically, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so it looks like they're linking to this page, which is the bestseller blueprint course. This is a bundle of three of my courses. Um, I've spent a lot of time, not to mention 10 years getting PhD in literature, figuring out how to write books that sell. And I'm getting better and better about not only providing plotting and chapter outline templates, but also going super deep into the craft of editing high quality fiction, writing and editing high quality fiction, which is an important step. I've always focused a lot on book marketing, um, cover design stuff, but I'm really a lot more excited about actually doing the work um, and figuring out ways that I can help people to write better books without needing to hire me to come in and do a, a heavy developmental edit and, you know, rewrite, rewrite everything from scratch. Um, so there's actually two deals here. There's the storytelling one. I'm actually really um, proud of this page because if you scroll down, I've gotten a lot of really cool reviews from people. You know, I kind of think, you know, my, my stuff is a little bit rough, a little bit unpolished, um, but I have gotten a lot of really nice reviews from people who have found my resources useful. So check out this page just even to look through and see what other people have said. Um, this is a pretty good bundle. The three 197 writing courses means you're actually getting like five or 600 bucks worth of writing courses. Most people would charge a lot more for writing courses. I just feel I'm a little insecure about, you know, my presentation of these resources. And also I really want my main focus to be on my, my like writing my own books. So I, I have this weird discomfort between offering services or courses, which I know are really valuable, but I also want to distance myself a little bit from um, getting involved with other people's journey so that I have more time to focus on my own journey. I've been saying for years, I just, you know, as soon as I finish all my series, I'll be making tons of money and I haven't finished any of my series yet. So for the next year or two, I'm really going to be focusing on my own fiction. And that's why, you know, especially for Black Friday, I don't mind offering this really huge discount. Um, but there's also my self-publishing book design bundle, which is um, not only book design templates for cover and formatting, I'm investing in redoing my online cover design tool at DIY Book, Form uh, DIY book Covers. I used to have a tool, then it got updated. Uh, Flash doesn't work anymore. So I have to like rebuild it from scratch. I hope it's going to be a really good tool. But even so, there's a bunch of um, templates in Microsoft Word that are pretty cool. And also my book marketing course. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So Reach Your Readers is my book, my first book marketing course, which is 297. Reader Subduction is more about email list building, um, how to set up your email list and grow it really quickly. So, you know, just these two courses are like 500 bucks and they're included in this bundle for 17. Um, anyway, so pick it up if you want to. Let me jump over to something else. So I was on Amazon real quick looking at, you know, Black Friday offers. You might be wondering if you're an author, what type of deals should you be looking for? Um, this is not a terrible time to buy, you know, technology or stuff. What I would recommend um, is to focus on your keyboard. You need a really good mouse and a good keyboard if you're using your computer a lot. You probably already know what's the best keyboard for yourself. I personally use um, this Logitech, which I like a lot, but I have a bundle of, of other keyboards. I really appreciate Bluetooth keyboards because when I'm drafting my actual stories, um, whoops, I like to use a uh, an iPhone or an iPad with AI writer and a Bluetooth keyboard. So I go, go out to coffee or, you know, be on the couch or something. It's, I think, good to have like a writing space and then a actual desktop space with like your whole monitor and stuff. Um, so I would be looking into picking up a very cheap, portable, comfortable 
you know, throw in your bag and go, um, like this one, for example, this looks like a really nice ultra slim Bluetooth keyboard that you could throw in with an iPad. Um, I've found, you know, they, they have the iPad magic keyboard cases, but I don't, I haven't found one I really, really like with my iPad. Um, so I tend to use a Bluetooth keyboard and my iPad rather than like one of those cover Bluetooth keyboard cases. Um, anyway, you got to play around with what you think is going to work, but there is a huge difference in drafting new scenes on your iPad or on your iPhone without all the distractions of your main desktop computer. So if you haven't tried that yet, I do think that's a great way to boost your productivity. Productivity, You know, for 18 bucks, you could double your, your daily word count, and that's a huge win um, for you. If you're looking at actual computers, that's kind of a different thing. Um, I would again suggest, you know, getting a really cheap portable, you know, like this Asus ultra thin laptop, 11.6 inch for, for 200 bucks. That's a pretty good little device that you can throw in a bag and take for writing. Maybe you wouldn't use it for editing or for like book design or any of the other stuff that you need to do. Um, but you might want it. Like I actually don't have a portable computer right now. Um, which is why I'm thinking about upgrading my desktop just so that I have, you know, a computer I can take out. Like if I want to do editing, I can't really do editing very easily on my iPad. So to have like a little computer that I could go out and do editing for, this is a little bit small for editing. Um, I might want to get, you know, I've been thinking about getting a uh, MacBook, the new MacBook M1 um, Max or Pro, even though I'm not really an Apple user. They're super powerful, but also super light and convenient. Um, they could be really good for editing. You know, I, I might be comfortable enough with the Apple that um, even if I don't like using all of my programs or doing like big stuff in it, um, just for simple writing and editing, that might be a decent choice. Um, although I've been also considering getting the new M1 Mac Pro, MacBook Pro Max, which is super, super powerful. Um, for everything, but then I would have to, you know, learn how to use Apple and get comfortable with that software. Um, the other one I'm probably leaning towards because I prefer Asus um, is something like something like this. I don't love gaming laptops. I don't like the style or the aesthetics of gaming laptops, um, but these are super powerful computers if you get the Ryzen 9 um, and you probably aren't going to need this, but for my case, um, I do a lot of really heavy, heavy photoshopping, heavy um, work in video and video editing and stuff. Um, even if you use something like Daz 3D software for rendering characters, um, you'll probably know whether or not you need this this amount of power for most writing and editing stuff, or for using Vellum. That's the other thing I didn't mention. Um, Vellum is an amazing formatting tool. It can save you so much time and effort, but it works on Mac. So right now I'm using like Mac in cloud to access Vellum to do my formatting, but that's weird enough that even though it's sort of functional, I kind of avoid it anyway. Um, and my, like, I don't spend enough time on my formatting as I should, but um, if I did switch over to a MacBook, then I could really focus on getting better at Vellum. Vellum just came out with, um, a new update where now you can do full page graphics. So I don't know if you've seen, but the really cool thing for for interior formatting is to have like double pages that are all black pages or like a landscape background um, or texture or whatever. So it's you have to have the image go to the edge of the page and set the bleed, but Vellum takes care of all that stuff. Um, and you used to, be, like I used to be able to do that stuff in, in InDesign or Microsoft Word. Now you can do it in, in Vellum also. Uh, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, you might want to consider, I do know people who have switched to Mac or bought a Mac just for Vellum and they're very happy with it because Vellum is really such a huge um, formatting tool to save a lot of time and, and hair pulling, especially if you're publishing lots of books. If you're only publishing a book a year, I would just pay someone to format for you. Um, but if you're publishing, I publish four or five books a year um, and I have a pretty big backlist that you know, if I want to do updates or clean it up or, or make changes, it's a mess to go back into all my different formatted drafts 
and try to find the right one and then make the changes and then convert it to ebook again. Um, in Vellum, print and ebook is all just kept in the same file. It's so much easier to go back and make changes. So those are some things I would be thinking about. Um, if you have any questions, you can go to creativity.com, which is my main platform. And I think at the top, I put a little bar up here for the Black Friday deal, which you can click on, um, just so you know where it is. That's only lasting probably like until Monday. Most of these deals will still be good. Um, and even if you don't buy anything right now, this is just kind of a great list of useful resources. So, you know, if they seem, if they seem interesting, buy it now. But um, if you don't even know what you don't know that you need, uh, maybe you're thinking about publishing or writing books and you haven't really looked into publishing or book design or marketing yet, this is kind of a really good um, list to just become acquainted to so that you know some of the big players in the self-publishing space and the type of offers or services that they provide um, and the kind of stuff that you're going to need to pay attention to or learn. Uh, a lot of this can be overwhelming, but like I said, you, you invest, you've got to invest in your education for a few months really hard so that you improve your, so that you get rid of the knowledge gap. So you know enough about the industry to know what you need to know or to know what you don't know. Um, because if you're putting all that stuff off and just focusing on your writing, guaranteed you're not writing books to market, you're not writing books in a way that's going to make them commercially successful, um, which just means in a way that's going to please readers. So whether or not you're writing to make money or to be successful, every writer wants to write books that readers don't hate. If you say, I don't care about the readership, I don't care about my readers, I just want to challenge myself to write the book that I want to write, that's fine. That's great for your first book. But after that book fails and it loses a bunch of money because you're paying for marketing or book design and nobody wants to read the book, um, or most often that just means you haven't figured out how to communicate the value or the benefits of your book to the right reader. So that's something maybe you can fix. But even after you fix that and you're selling books, it's possible that the book still isn't satisfying readers. And that's a different thing that you're really going to have to do some soul searching and figure out whether or not you know, you really want to write books that nobody likes, or if you'd like to become better at writing books that people actually do like, um, that's a journey that a lot of authors go through, which can be difficult to, you know, talk about giving advice or having them accept advice because they're not at the place yet where they're ready to accept that it's okay to write books that readers want to read. For people who have been in this for a while and they understand how it works, um, most people can get on board with the idea that real art has value in the sense that it matters to other people. That's something I believe and I teach at Creativity. Most people who are involved in publishing or self-publishing um, are very comfortable writing to market and studying, you know, the, the craft of creating books that people want to read, but a lot of new writers are purists or amateurs, which means they do it for the love of the craft, although that's not really true. They do it for the they do it for the um self-pleasing enjoyment because writing can be fun because creativity feels like magic if you don't know where you're going and you're a discovery writer. It can feel very satisfying on a personal level. Um, and that's amazing. But just because you're writing something that you enjoy writing doesn't mean anybody else is going to enjoy reading it. And at some point you have to question, you know, why am I spending all this time on a hobby that nobody else is really interested in? And again, that's fine. You're entitled to your hobby. But when you start promoting or advertising or complaining that your friends and family aren't supporting you or it's too hard to sell books or, you know, the, the industry is garbage and it's just you know the it's it only only crap books by authors who sell out make any money and real authors who are literary purists can't sell any books um that's a false ideology that you know you have to come to terms with uh anyway sorry if this video went a little bit long let me know in the comments if you see any other black friday deals that you think are worth checking out or let me know in the comments what your currently buying if you're interested in buying anything that you think is going to help your author career this year or next year. Thanks. Bye-bye.